DIY Auto Tech here. It's uh, coming up 60,000 miles, 120,000 miles, or 30,000 mile interval. Coolant's getting old, getting a little groggy, a little weird in color. We're gonna show you how to change that today. First step is to get the vehicle safely uh, hoisted up on the lift. Um, we can always check with vehicle manufacturers or all data and make it on demand to see where you can jack the car up. Lift it up slowly and get it just high enough to where you can access the drain bolt on the radiator. Down. All we're gonna be doing is taking the fluid out from that drain bolt right there. It's gonna drop into our drip pan. We're gonna let all the fluid out, drain it, and get the correct mixture of fluid to go the or fluid to go back in there. We're tight. We're gonna do a 50-50 mixture with this. Um, we're gonna hold six liters and this holds just about three three and three fourths liters. So we're gonna put some water in with that. It'll be a little more than 50-50 mixed and we'll show you. Now that the car is safely lifted up, we're gonna take our wrench. Which we have here. And we're gonna get at that bolt there and take it off. Make sure that your cap here is taken off and that your radiator cap is also taken off so that we don't have a vacuum in the system. Bolt's loosened off with the wrench already. So we'll show you here. Comes off just like that. Keep this bolt in a safe place. Make sure to clean it off. And as you can see, that's what we're doing. We're just gonna be draining the coolant out. When it's all done, we can put the cap back in. Now this is done draining, we can take our cap, thread it back in, and then we'll torque it up so that it's nice and tight so we don't get a leak. Cap's all nice and tight, so now we gotta add our radiator fluid into the radiator here. Some cards you can do it through the radiator up top here, or on others you can put it in through the overflow, and it runs directly in this Mazda we choose to do it through the radiator. So just gotta pull off this cap here, and we're gonna pour this whole bottle in. Now that our coolant bottle is empty and we've added it all, we need to add the other half, the 50-50 mixture of distilled water. You don't wanna use hose water, don't wanna use anything else but distilled water. So we'll grab the equal amount that would equal this to 50-50 and we'll pour that in through the cap as well. Now that our radiator is full, we'll put the cap on, turn it on, burp the system out, and we'll be good to go. All right, car is full in the radiator, so we throw the cap on, open the top up here for the um, for the overflow, so let it vent, and so we can see in there because we're going to start burping um, to get the air bubbles out, and we're going to need to add more water. So all we do is we get in the car. Once we do that, we start the car up. Turn on the ignition, start her up, get her at idle, and we're going to turn our heater on max. Make sure the heater is on max. We want to get that coolant flowing through the heater core. Alright? So our system is burping a little bit of fluid, so we're going to add a little bit, um, all the while checking and making sure that our temperature does not go over um, what it's specified to go over. So in this car, it would be 210. Um, we're going to want to let it actually get up to full operating temperature, though before we call this job done so that all the system air can bleed out and that we have a full radiator and a happy, happy cooling system. It's been another video from DIY Auto Tech. We'll see you next time.